Michigan will serve as the road team in this game, one of three teams for the Big Ten in the NCAA tournament. They'll be going up against Jordan Patty, his 14th start of the year, an 8-2 record and a 2-5-8. Another stingy guy on the bump for the Chippewas, Todd. Juarez has reached in 17 consecutive games. He rocks one deep right field. There's some good wind going to that side, and it's gone. It'll clear the porch at right center, and Michigan is on the board. Go get that knob real to me. Strike three called, Alex Ortiz given a little bit of real estate off the corner. We'll go at it later on this evening at 6 o'clock as you look at Cameron Weston, 5'11", 200-pound righty. He's been good all year long, Todd. Throughout this lineup. That one will be called strike three again. That's that pitch at the top of the zone. Camaletti thinks it's high. Lead for Gillis at first. Pitch comes home. Hit to right center field. That's going to dump down for a base hit. Digging for third is Gillis, and he'll be there without a throw. Instead, too much motion going on right there. That's a lot of motion. Ball gets away. Breaking for home is Gillis, and the Chippewas tie it up. The hitter, you really have to be patient against these guys with a lot of movement. That one stays up. Hard hit ball to the shortstop Sims, and that will retire the side. Todd Walker going at it. The uh, the SEC story, if you haven't seen it, on Skip Berkman, which uh, you'll... Typical torp, but it does make the defense a little easier because you can't catch a seam. On a high pitch, 2-2, crashing up against the wall. It spills out of the glove of Rollin, and coasting into second is Mazur as the Wolverine skipper. 2-2 pitch, strike three called. That pitch has been consistently called a strike between these two starters, Weston and Jordan Patty. 2-2 two -two Patty. Assistant at Clemson. 1-2 pitch over the top, and Rollin waves goodbye for the second out of the inning. Poole started taking over a bit. 3-2 pitch, laced in the left field. That'll be a base knock. Two-out single for Shepardson. Going back to their days with Mark Kingston as head coach, now the Gamecock skipper. They're a tough out. Speaking of a tough out, that's a typical Chippewa hit. Going with the pitch and going on to third is Shepardson, aggressive base running. This mentioned it, it, it is nice to see. Not many teams do it. Got a hold of this one. That's in that jet stream, but warning track power for Camaletti. Definitely went around on that one. Hit up the middle. And that'll be a base hit. Two for two is Tito Flores. One against Vanderbilt. He thought Michigan was going to win it all. They lost the next two. What a great season. On the ground to third. Shepardson rifles across the diamond for round number three. On the ground to third. They work it around the horn. Malfetta to Bertram to Overtop. 5-4-3, twin killing. 1-1 one, one pitch. Oh, smothered and snared by Hickey. Great play by the first baseman. Two runs scored in this game. Just six hits so far. Make it seven. Hickey. Team like Central Michigan do what they're doing. High fly ball, deep right field. Looking up is Elliott, and he watches it go. Make it 15 home runs on the year for Central Michigan, and a big one for Navarro, maybe the biggest of the year. To do it. So again, when we go back to the approaches of these guys, one through nine, by the way, and here's another one. Look at this. The Third just eat you hit alive, of man. the inning. My first target right there with the bat. 2-1, <laughs> laced and snared wow. by the Irish. I like it. Yep. I'm going to try. Keeping your that. eyes still. Yeah. Next time you're catching the live ball, ball Mike, remember that. <laughs> Here in the fifth. Foul ground, there's a lot of it here, and a snow cone oh catch. Gosh. 
What a play by Shepherdson. Your toes, keeping your eyes as still as you possibly can. This ball spinning all the way back toward the field of play. And you mentioned ice cream earlier. How about that snow cone for, for Shepherdson? What a play. 2-2 to Lockwood Powell, and that is blistered in the left field for a base hit. One of the best programs to not make it to Omaha. There's another base hit, so back-to-back -back singles. Lockwood Powell on his way to third, and they're at the corners now with two down. Be fantastic. 3-0. <laughs> uh, what do we have here? A balk. A balk. A balk. Oh, they call it a balk, and that'll play to run for the Chippewas. Oh, goodness. Ball four. Now, clearly, Logan Wood does not have it. And it hits him. So they'll get one run on a balk and another run on a hit batter with two strikes, and the base is loaded. Strike three called. That's back on that inside corner. Driven into center field, base hit. Takes a healthy hop off the turf. A two out single for Benjamin Sims, his first hit of the day. There's another hard hit ball and that'll get down in front of the right fielder, Marcy. And heading to third, safe on the play, Sims. That's a heck of a gamble. One, two. Hit on the ground, the shortstop. And that will do it. Simpson to Camaletti. Strike three called. A lot of teams. There's more parity in the country now than there has ever been. In the air to center. Backing up. And finally slowing up at the wall, he leaps and he can't get it. Bullock thought he had it measured, and instead it's another home run for the Chippewas. Lockwood Powell goes yard. Nobody really cares after about five seconds, so you got about five seconds to get everybody's attention, and then you got to stop acting giddy, you got to act normal again. Well, that's a good way to start things off if you want to rally here. That's laced in the right field, a base hit. And then bobbled by Marcy. Runners will hold at first and second. Patty fires. Bounced up the middle. Scooped up and then bobbled by the shortstop, Simpson. Everybody is safe. Base is loaded. Nobody out for Michigan in the seventh. The payoff. Down. No. Strike at the knees. 1-0, hit on the ground to shortstop, Simpson to Camaletti, the relay, got him, double play to end the inning, Jordan Patty does it again. Swing and a miss, chase that pitch, and over to second. Wow, well, they're going to call interference on the hitter. Yep, they sure are. Defense work. Off the end of the bat, into right center field, and flagged down by Marcy. And Michigan on the ropes against a very dangerous number four seed in Central Michigan as the hits just keep on coming for the Chippewas. That's the nine-hole hitter Simpson. Wrestler. I must admit, I did not know that one. Throw to second, another stolen base for the Chippewas like the SEC and ACC throughout the year. Another base hit, and that'll be another run. Love good baseball. They appreciate anything that's quality in the sport. They fell in love with Central Michigan. Chippewas are falling in love with this game, leading it by seven. In the air, deep left field. This has got a chance, and this is gone. The leading home run hitter for the Wolverines, Jimmy Obertop, blasting his 11th. Might be a little too little too late, but it's something here in the ninth. Beyond wow. stunning.
Not, not the wow. fact that South Alabama would win the game, but 19 to one. Goodness gracious. Here's a hard hit ball to right field. And that's going to be flagged down on the warning track. And how about the Chippewas? The number four seed for the second straight tournament has pulled off an upset. They defeat the Michigan Wolverines.